Hi, Scott with FDJTool.com, and I wanted to give you a quick overview of how the three-prong case opening wrench works. There's a lot of different styles out there. You can find economy ones very cheap, and you can find some that are very expensive that are designed for master watchmakers, but really they all work in pretty much the same way. They operate by have using three prongs to open up the back of a waterproof watch. They generally come with four sets of pins of varying shapes depending on what type of back that you have in order to, uh, to fit the notches in the back in order for you to unscrew it. Most wrenches are going to come with round pins, square pins, some might come with a large notched pin, and some might come with something like a tooth pin. And they're designed to open up different kinds of backs. When you take your watch and you look on the back, most waterproof watches that use this kind of wrench for opening are going to have a series of notches around the outside. This one has six notches evenly spaced around the back, and if you look closely enough, you'll see that they're square shaped, and that's the shape of pin that I'll end up using to open this up this watch. Um, generally, it's a good idea to use some sort of uh, either watch pad or some material underneath your watch so that when you lay it down you don't end up scratching it uh, when you're doing your work because even even on an inexpensive watch you don't want to end up with any kind of scratches on it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your three prong watch wrench and you see a series of three collets here that hold the pins and that's where you're going to put them. They're friction fit so you take your pins out and they just pop into place like so. Like that. Like that. So now I've got my three pins in place and they're all held in by friction. They're adjusted by turning either the handle, which moves the single pin on the bottom backwards or forwards, or the two pins on the top, which are op moved by this thumb screw, which protrudes from the back, and by rotating the thumb screw, they move out or inward. Now what you want to do is you're going to line these pins up on three of the notches on the back of your watch. Two of the pins are going to line up with one pin, excuse me, one notch on one side and one notch on the other side, skipping a notch in between. The third pin will end up in being in the notch that's directly in between those two notches but on the opposite side of the back, like a triangle. So what I like to do is I like to line up the first two pins on the top before I line up the third pin. Now you can do this in a couple of different ways. This particular wrench comes with a small ruler, but you can use any ruler that you might have around. And you can use this to measure the distance between the two pins across the back, or excuse me, the two notches across the back of your watch. And this ends up being up just about three centimeters. And I can use that to measure the distance between my pins here in order to get them just about three centimeters apart and I'll do final adjustments once I get the pins onto the watch. So at least I've got the general area. The last pin, the third pin, I like to open up the wrench all the way up so that I can then close the pin onto the case back so I get a nice tight fit. Now again, you can do this by hand. You can do use a watch pad. You can even use a watch clamp in order to hold the case. But I'm going to line up everything by hand first just so that I know everything's going to be in place. So I've Got the, my first two pins about three centimeters apart, and I'm going to see how well they line up with the notches. And actually, they line up pretty well. So, without making contact at the back with this third pin, I'm going to put my first two pins in place, and I'm going to rotate the thumb screw just a little bit so that they have a, a fairly firm grip, but not too firm of a grip on those two notches. And that's great. So now I know. I'm very much on the mark for my last minute tightening at the end. Now this last one, I'm going to see how far away it is from the third notch. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's fairly close. So I'm going to move this in just slightly so I get close enough so I can get a good idea to see how close. I need to come in a little bit more. Now since this is my personal watch and it's fairly inexpensive, I'm not going to worry about whether I slip or anything right now, but on a more expensive watch you want to be much more careful because you don't want to drop it or slip or anything like that and end up scratching any part of the watch. But for demonstration purposes I'm going to show you that I have the two pins in the notches of the back and I'm going to move the third pin in by turning the handle until it fits into the notch at the bottom of the case. 
and there we go. So for me, I've got all three pins. I did, one second, there we go. I've got all three pins in place, and now I'm ready to do just a last second tightening so that I have a firm grip on the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my watch down on this pad so that I can do this on a flat, even surface. Get my pins in place here. There we go. And I'm going to tighten it just, just a tad. I'm going to tighten the handle just a tad. So now I have a nice firm grip on the watch back so there's no slipping. A very firm grip is definitely what you need in order to get a, a, a nice grip onto the back because otherwise if there's any slippage and you turn this wrench too hard or too quickly or at an angle it'll definitely slip off and cause scratching. Now depending on how tight the back is on your watch you can hold the, the watch case by several different ways. If the watch you can try it by hand first if you like and start to rotate and if there's if it's doesn't have a give then you might not want to hold it by hand you can then for first try you can set it back down onto your watch pad and see if the case will open that way and now that one's a little stiff so I'm gonna go on to step two is by using some sort of case uh, case clamp this one is spring-loaded so it, it you can open it up and grip the case firmly it's got pins that can be moved along anywhere here depending on the size of the, the case. This one's a little bit big and plus I have my crown and buttons here that I have to take into consideration. So I'm going to put the case in between the pins and then tighten the screw. Okay, so there we go. Got a nice firm grip on there. Now I can easily hold the case uh, clamp into my, in my hand, put the watch pins from my wrench in place onto the notches and now I've got a great firm grip now when you twist you want to press straight down with your watch wrench don't tilt it don't pivot it get firm even pressure against the case wrench and you want to twist slowly don't don't wrench it don't twist it hard do it slowly firmly pressing straight down and the watch back will unscrew very easily. All you need to do is loosen it because then you can do the rest by hand and not cause any damage to the watch case. Once you replace the battery, the gasket, anything that you need to do inside the watch, simply put the back on with your wrench. Well, I would first tighten best I could with my fingers, again doing as much work as I can without a tool so that there's no possibility of scratching. Once everything's in place and it's tightened as much as I can simply put the pins in place onto the notches again making sure everything's nice and snug even firm pressure without twisting or torquing or doing it quickly rotate it till it's in place and you've just used your three prong watch wrench nope in order to open up your watch it was that simple my name is Scott with fdjtool.com. Floose. <laughs> <laughs>